So, interwebs, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we completed the Earth Temple, and in this episode, we're going to head to get our next treasure so we can head for the next temple in the game. Um, as you can see, I'm over here, I think, at Ice Rink Isle. I think that's what it's called. And now that we have the fire arrows, we can shoot it directly into this thing's mouth. And it somehow defrosts the island. One single fire arrow. Um, I have no idea how that works, but Zelda logic, eh, it doesn't really ever make sense. Um, but as you can see, we have a time limit, so we have to get inside and out in about five minutes. So, it's the same way as it was before when we were at Fire Mountain, except, um, you know, this is actually kind of annoying. If you've ever played a video game with ice in it, then you know what I mean, because ice physics suck. Yeah, well, you know, they actually kind of make sense, because you're slipping and sliding everywhere. Oh, crap, okay. See, you can, oh, shit, oh, you can almost fall off, and if anything, you wouldn't have to go all the way back. And trust me, you don't want to do that. Now, slow and steady wins the race. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, well, I got the hard part down, so hold this, and then we're going to jump over here. No, no, oh, why didn't you jump? You, ah, oh, damn it. Well, it looks like we're climbing back up. That's nice. Um, hopefully I can get it on my first, well, I can't say first try, but hopefully I can get it on my second try. Because I don't want to be here forever doing this stupid little ice puzzle because we're wasting time that we could be spending inside, so. Oh, God. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that was close. That was awesome. All right. Blah, do, 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 do. The, the noise Link makes when he's about to fall. Blah, do, 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 do. All right, now I'm going to... God damn it, Link. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we made it inside, and we're going to head inside. That made loads of sense, Wing. <laughs> Good for me. Um, Alright, so here we go. Just like at Fire Mountain, we get this little mini dungeon here, and uh, it's very, very simple, if anything. Basically, a bunch of sliding around and all oh, bats. Damn! Oh, don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. That would be very bad. Bats, Batman, leave me alone. I understand. You just go save Gotham. Just leave Zelda man alone. Why did I call him Link? Zelda, damn it! No, 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 no. Okay, I got one. I'm trying to get the no, no. Come on, come on. Damn it! I didn't want to fall. Ah, oh. oh, ice physics. Oh man. Either way, the way to get- I'm trying to- Damn it, get- I- Ha! That's why you drowned! That's why you committed suicide and you threw yourself in the water! <laughs> Stupid bat! Alright, now, we're gonna latch on here, and we're gonna climb all the way up. If anything, this isn't as annoying as I remember for being a kid, but if I remember correctly, the next dungeon is my least favorite of the game. So, it should be a lot of fun to record. I think no matter what game you're LPing, it could be the greatest game of all time or your favorite game of all time. No matter what happens, there's always that one part in the game where you're going to absolutely hate. Oh, God damn it, Pet. I swear to God, if I fall again, I will kill you and rape your family. Leave me alone. Damn, you know what? All right, arrow's time. Let's go. Where are you? There's two of you, huh? That's your wife, huh? She's a beautiful wife. I wonder how she likes my arrows. And I keep missing. You sly bastards. Damn it. Alright, you know what? I'll let you live for now. You and your wife. Batunia. Yeah. Oh, is that Batunia? Haha, <laughs> that's why you're dead. You'll never see your kids again. <laughs> uh, I'm so evil. Oh my god. Anyway, like I said, this is, really, this is really quick. And here we are. The treasure chest of the ice rink place. Stuff. Oh my god, I wonder what is. We got iron boots! Yes, with the iron boots, these boots are so heavy you can hardly walk, but the wind can't blow you around wherever you wear them. So that is very, very nice, and that is how we get into the wind temple. And with that, I'm going to equip them now so we can get by this. Oh, look, there's a hole there. I never really noticed that before. Interesting. Are right, we going to head in here. That's weird because usually these little caverns don't have much depth, but I guess this one does itself. So let's see. A bunch of frozen enemies. Oh, okay. This looks rewarding. All right. Time to unfreeze them. Take out my fire arrows. Bam. Bam. How many are there exact? Oh, crap. Die, die, die. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a lot of them. What the hell did I get myself into? Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. You ain't got nothing on this. Ah, that's why your own brother smacked you. Ha <laughs> ha. So, uh, crap. I didn't mean to go into the lights. Damn it, game. Uh, 
Well, I'm not doing that again. I'll see you guys when I get to the Wind Temple. Damn it. Okay, we're back here at the Wind Temple. As you can see, we won't be able to enter here without the Iron Boots, so good thing I got them ahead of time. Um, or else, you know, no story progression whatsoever. Ah, oh, crap. I'll be right back. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, family... Crap, I hate... I hate it. Like, my family does not, you know... Acknowledge the fact that I always record and I, I ask them nicely. Hey, can you guys not walk in when I'm recording? They always happen to need something when I'm recording. Like, hey, can I get my slippers? Oh, yeah, but you didn't need your slippers two hours ago, you asshole. <gasps> I really hope nobody in my family heard that. <laughs> anyway, um, we're here at the Wind Temple and this blowing. We have a skull hammer. Bam! Bitch slap you in the mouth and now we can head inside. And inside is, again, one of those tablets that own one of the songs for the sages. Let's see. I fucked your mom last night. You learn the Wind God's Aria. I really hope I said that right. Are you the new hero? You look so Asian. <laughs> I am Fado of the Kokiri tribe. I know you appear to be as a child, but the eyes can deceive. I am most esteemed age. Sage. Blah. I have been praying here so the power to repel evil will continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. He killed you? This is a kid's game, damn it! You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? No, I just came to say hello. In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold and teach him the song you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awaken in his veins. That wind waker you hold used long ago to conduct... Uh, to, uh, I read that totally wrong. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please, tell the king that we will still play even in the next world. And with that, I know exactly who has that instrument, and it's a little friendly friend of ours, so we're gonna see him in a bit. I will cut to when I get back to that location. We are back to that location. Alright, um, as you can see, there's a mailbox here. I wonder we have, uh, good evening! Letters for Wing, we have two letters. Here is your letter. Cash, dog oh, crap, we have to pay for this one. 201 rupees, seriously? Uh, all right, I'll pay it, I'll pay it. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person, thank you very much for your purchase enclosed in an incredible chart. This chart will show you where you can find the treasure forest charts if you wish to use a lot of them, their favorite kinds of charts. And also, sir, have you been checking the tingle charts? Have you those giant fairy marks? Follow the chart to them and the fortune will greatly increase. Tingle. All right. And with this, we get the incredible chart. This is a very, very important item for later in the game. Once we're done with the Wind Temple, this item will be a lot more useful. And here is our second letter. Oh, well, how have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing this letter to you. Isn't that neat? At first, I was really scared, but they're all actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is really big, and ever since Miss Terra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice too. And as for Senza, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind. Zuko! And Mako! Mako! It's pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever he tries to take off his glasses. That is so funny. Zuko, Mako, in the same letter, and they're on a pirate ship. What the hell? I see an Avatar reference, even though the show wasn't made until several years later. Anyway. 
And with that, she's sending us some money. I loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't worry. I'll take care of myself. You be sure to take care of yourself. Good luck. And we got 20 rupees. That's very nice of her. Very generous for a young girl to give her her money. Especially our sister after we just saved her. You know, a little 50 rupees would have been nice, you cheap hoe. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, crap. More of these guys. I'm going to try and get some Deku Seeds out of them. And more over here. Off with your head. Off with your head. And I think we have one more to go before we actually get to our location. And if you remember our little buddy from this location, the equivalent to medley of the Dragon Roost Cavern, um, we have... You guys will see in a second. I'm pretty sure most of you already know if you've been following the Let's Play or the game or even know you probably played this game before. I hope most of you have played this game because trust me, it's an amazing game. If you haven't, um, you can get it uh, on Amazon. It's a really, really amazing game. I recommend you pick it up. All right, we're inside this cavern in the waterfall, and look who it is, our good friend Makar. Oh, Wing, I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. Hmm, you're wondering why I'm all the way down here? Not really, no. I'm practicing a new song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. It isn't any fun if anyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What? You can hear my song outside? R really? I thought the sound of the waves would drown it out. Shit! Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. And with that, we're gonna play the Earth God. No, not the Earth God. The Wind God. Is that a gun? Wing, are you a maestro? Yeah, <laughs> yes, hit it, maestro. That's incredible. Are you going to conduct for me, Wing? I don't know why I gave him a British accent, but we're gonna be We're gonna be playing the Wind God's thing. Oh, that. Okay, that's not right. Hold on, let me try. Let me try that again. Uh, okay. What's the song? It goes up, up, down, right, left, right. All right, let's get that done. Shut the fuck up. You're repeating the same thing you just said. All right. Up, up, down, right, left, up. No, that's not right. Oh, okay. Let me fit. God damn it. God damn. Uh, down, right, left, r down. No, it's not down either. Damn it. Okay, uh, uh, down, right, left, right. There we go. I'm sorry for that little fail right there, but uh, we got the Earth Gods, Wind Gods. Damn, I keep saying Earth God, Wind God song down. Hmm. Does it go something like it? Strange. Why does it feel like I've already known this song? Wing. The sacred song that you conducted has awakened me. I know myself now. I am the sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And to ease the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, Wing, please take me with you to the Wind Temple. And with that, we have a new party member. I don't know why I said party member, but with that... We have Makar with us heading for the Wind Temple. He's so cute. Look where he is. He's on the hood of the boat. He's not in the boat. He's on the guy's head. Ha ha ha. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe, and stay awesome.